What's probably the first thing you want to do when you come home from school? Be inside, not really do anything. And that's exactly what I thought of every single time I went home from school. I remember the first day of my fifth grade class, I just envisioned the last day of school. How great it would feel, how all the time I could spend inside watching YouTube, playing video games, enjoying myself inside, relaxing. And that's all I really wanted to do, man. Just chill, eat, sleep, relax, Fortnite, repeat. You know those freaking t-shirts like that? I was literally that guy. I never wore them, but I lived pretty true to that. And actually, when I look at their sh shirts like eat, sleep, blank, repeat, I just think that's kind of a boring life just doing those same three things every single day. But unfortunately, I never really thought about this and I wasn't farsighted. I didn't think long-term enough. So I kept on doing the same things every day. I played Fortnite all the time. I played Brawl Stars, Clash Royale, video games, YouTube. And then before I knew it, the summer went by and I did absolutely nothing. The only time I went out was when my dad forced me to do some chore outside. That's the only time I went out. All the days when it was nice out, and the weather was amazing. Nice breeze, the grass is nice and green, the trees are green, everybody's outside having fun, the pool's open. So many things are happening outside, but I'm not outside, I'm not having fun, I'm not enjoying the nice day. I'm not enjoying the nice breeze like it is right now. Instead, I'm sat in my crusty black computer chair, picking my nose, playing some Valorant. And I'm not gonna beat myself up about the past and be like, oh, I wish I didn't play as much video games or something. I just wish that I could have gone outside a little more. Like, I'm gonna be honest here. If you play video games, whatever. If you do this, whatever. But just try to go outside more, man. It's summer, it's nice out. There's so many opportunities to explore and do cool things and I, I think if you do those cool things, you probably wouldn't even want to play video games because you realize how fun and fulfilling it is doing it actually in the real world. But I honestly don't care if you do some bad habits as long as you're going out, as long as you're doing cool things in your life. Because the mistake I made for so long was just being inside all the time. That's a fat airplane, bro. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Do you want to know how I spent exactly all my days during the summer? I spent all my days watching YouTube while I'm waiting for the Brawl Stars queue to push some brawler and solo showdown, just teaming with everyone, trying to get some easy trophies, bro. Just on some dumb little video game, some dumb brawler. I really don't want you to make the same mistake because as soon as I stopped doing these things, I started to go out more. I felt happier about my life. I felt more fulfilled. I felt like my life was having more purpose and meaning. I wake up every day, feeling great, go to sleep, amazing. I'm starting to make money online and it's such a cool thing. Now that I stop playing video games all the time and then go out more, and if you're not sure who I am, I'm Timothy and I just love sharing things that I've recently done in my life and giving it to you because I wish I could have heard this last summer, two summers ago, when I spent all my time on the computer, not enjoying the nice day. So bro, today, go outside, prepare yourself for the summer so when it actually does hit, you've already been going outside sometimes, you've been talking to people, going out with people, so that when summer hits, you're full blowing in action and ready to have the best months of your life. Because it's so nice outside. It's literally 70 degrees right now. Don't think it's awkward or cringe to go outside and explore what's around you. Really start doing some cool hobbies. Start biking around, going on walks to cool places. Start doing some cool stuff in your life, bro. Summer's the perfect opportunity. And don't wait for a summer and just be like, oh, I'm just gonna not do anything. Start doing some things right now so you can prepare yourself for summer. And a great sign that you can understand if you're going outside enough is if you have a tan. So I really hope you make this the best summer of your freaking life. I'm ready to do so many things. I'm gonna do so many cool experiences, ask some strangers some stupid stuff, knock on some people's doors, asking to mow their lawn or something. I'm ready to make my summer amazing. Gonna be working part-time jobs, doing some cool things, getting some even more money. And I'm just so ready for summer, bro. I can't wait. It's gonna be amazing. I really hope you can think about this more. And if you like this video, consider subscribing because I post videos like these every single day to try to give you something to think about. And if you want a way to talk to so many people right now, join that like-minded club in the description. Hundreds of people are in there. I'm in there too. It's a pretty sick place. We all talk and hold each other accountable, have people you can actually relate to a bit. And if you want me to coach you on quitting your bad habits, like video games, playing video games all the time, scrolling, relapsing, doing those things, click that Calendly link in the description and find a time that fits you so we can go on a call. Hope to see you in the like-minded club and in that Calendly link. And yeah, have a great rest of your day. I'll see you later. Peace.